Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be exercising from home. So the first time I started working from home, I think it was around when I was 14, 15. But then after that, I, after that I got my gym membership and started using the gym instead of working from home. Then the isolation happened as all you can know what happened during that time. So I started working out from home again and uh, using the parks to have pull up dips, pull up bars, dip bars and uh, all kind of equipment. The last time I was in the gym was during the last video I posted that that's, that's probably around a year ago. So yeah, it's been a while since I've been in yeah, gym. Yeah, I'll be showing you the exercises one by one and then showing the different variations that I've been doing from them. So that if it's too easy, you can just move on to the other variations. And the first exercise is going to be push-ups. And push-up is a great way to strengthen your uh, chest and here I'm just trying to do the control full range of motion, low rush it. And if this one is too easy, you can move to the, this variation which is pipe press push up. You just go a little bit arched up and then you just press by the top of your head, it's gonna hit the ground and that's about it. This one right here works upper, upper back and it's tough, really tough. So be really careful with this one and take your time. I couldn't do one at the start. So here is the third variation which is a banded push-up. Banded push-up is a great way to become explosive. You don't have to be this controlled as, as I was, but it's just for uh, showing perfect purposes so you can just be exploded. I usually have a have a head wheel so it doesn't roll. So I'm gonna give you a variation what you can use if you can't use this because of the carpet don't really like it too much. And the variation is gonna be beer crawl. So here you just extend with your arm all the way the furthest you can go and then you come all the way back so this is a variation for two ab reels you can do this everywhere and me you can just arch your back a little bit so you engage the core a little bit more and you can feel the burn after that so this is a great exercise to strengthen your core without the ab wheel even though ab wheel is one of the greatest devices to work out with but you can do this as much as you want and keep in mind you get a rest between because this is tough and of course remember to keep your core tight and breathe and this is one of the best exercises for your back you first lie down put your hands behind your back you're not arrested but it's a back extension here i'm only moving the upper body which i which, which is the way i usually start with and then you can slow control don't force it and don't jinx it too much don't be jerking up and then you can use the lower body which is great too and if it's, too, it's still too easy you can just combine both the previous and this exercise together and then you can be doing superman back extension which is both them together now here you gotta be careful because here i injured my lower back because i was doing 50 of these a day so i was going pretty fast so here if you can go even slower than me do it and the eighth exercise is a plank i don't know which how to call this exercise but basically we just it works the obliques you just move i got the candle candle holder over there so you just move it so you can reach it under your other oblique so it burns the obliques and works your side of your core so great exercise to not get bored with the plank and strengthen your core and next is my favorite part and for bonus tips if you want your legs to be strong don't put lotion on them in the morning let them be ashy as soon as they ash gray and ashy that's how you know the work hitting now i'm going to show what type of legs exercise i'll be doing and um yeah get right into it the uh, Bulgarian split squat is the way, great way to make it challenging, more challenging if you if you can do squats all day, just take one leg off and then you, the load is going to be twice on one leg. So usually we used to be walking with two legs, I used to put, uh, put all the pressure on one leg and this is the great way to make it challenging and strengthen your legs. I've been doing this like 10, 10 each child and then just uh, you see if you have the app roller or something, this is how I do it. I take it. I take this one apart, and then uh, I take the disc from the app roller, and then use them as the elevator for my next exercise, which is elevated ankle raises. And um, this is the great way to strengthen your ankles and make it more difficult to get extra pressure on your ankles. And that's about it, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in, and make sure to stay tuned on this channel. If not on this channel on the other channel and my other social outlets um let's keep in touch and be great and stay healthy peace